Hello. Last week I was at Camber Sands on the beach. It's a lovely flat beach, but with no foreground interest, I really struggled to get any worthwhile shots. In this week's video, I'll kind of show you part two of that trip, where I uh, tried to get something out of the groins at the back of the beach, and then I moved to the sandbanks with the grassy area um, right at the end, which was one of my original ideas anyway. So I'll drop you right back where you were now. The sea comes in so fast I'm a little bit worried about being cut off. These two dogs love the beach. Anyway, um, so I'm at the groins now. I'm just trying to select what's the, the best groin for me to use. There's one that's kind of barely poking out the sand, so I've ignored that one. This one's got too much water at the bottom of it. But this third one looks promising. I think after I'm finished with that, I'm going to have to walk over the pebbles because the, um, the tide's so quick. I'm having to guess on the framing. I'm just kind of poking my arm out and hoping that it gets something good. Because... Um, it's winter and it's, uh, it's kind of mid-morning the shadows are quite stretched and they're just off to this side so I want to avoid my shadow being in my shot so there's not really many places I can go no, it's a bit too stretched it's the right lens but I really need to be in uh, wellies and I need to be able to I need to be able to get down to this first bit of groin now getting the issue that because I don't have any filters for this, you can only really control um, with the with the settings. So um, the maximum shutter speed for this camera is one four thousandth, and I'm on that, and it's still too bright. So I'm having to start I'm having to start using the uh, aperture to control the brightness. I have accidentally become landlocked or marooned, islanded. this stage it's difficult to tell whether I've got anything because it's very bright and I can barely see the screen before or after I've taken the photo. So with complete confidence I'm going to assume that I've got something worth using and move on to my final kind of sub location which is the um, grasses that I was talking about in the introduction which are just over there. Although it's such a lovely day, I'm kind of loath to leave. If only, if only one of the cafes were open. There's about 10 cafes. You can imagine this place is packed um, over summer, but over winter, none of the cafes open, so there's nowhere for me to get a coffee. Tea.
just working my way through the scene really. So because I don't have any filters, I've got to get it right in camera. Um, so I need a high shutter speed so that the grass doesn't look blurry. I want as low ISO as possible. So I'm using the f-stop to try and control the light. I'm going to regret this. And that was the last shot I took. Just after that, the battery of my vlogging camera died, and while I was deciding whether to go and get another battery from the car, or just use the GoPro to film an ending, my stills camera, this one, fell forward flat into the sand, and I've got sand in the barrel of the focus ring of my 50mm, which is a bit annoying. I think I've ruined my lens. But never mind. I guess what I learned from the trip overall was to not try and pack too many things into the same shoot. Um, otherwise I wouldn't have ended up with two videos. Next week I'm in Dungeness in Kent. Come back and see what a vlog looks like from someone who's just thrown up and who still feels a bit queasy but is still determined to make a vlog anyway. Looks like. Remember to like this if you want, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment below and I'll see you next week. Bye!